Hello friends. In this session, we are going to learn how to integrate code coverage report using GitLab CI for Java Maven project. So let's go. So we start our session with the what is code coverage report. So code coverage report is detailed analysis of content to which your source code is exercised by your test suite. And it's generated by code coverage testing tools and provides insight into which part of your code are covered by test and which part are not. The report helps you visualize and understand the effectiveness of your testing efforts in terms of code coverage. So here we are use texting testing tool is use Jcoco. Jcoco means Java code coverage. Okay, so Java code coverage is a code coverage tool used primarily with Java application to measure the extent to your to which your code base source code is tested by your test suite. Coming to the GitLab, if we in the context of the GitLab CI CD and Jococo can be integrated in your continuous integration and continuous deployment pipeline to automatically generate code coverage report and provides insight you insight into effectiveness of your test so see here how you might jcoco and gitlab ci cd pipeline so for that prerequisites are we have ubuntu server ubuntu server or ubuntu 22.0 for lts server okay and second shs with sudo privilege so see here this is my AWS cloud and in that cloud, I have already launched the register instance. Okay. I have already launched the instance. Name is Jcoco report using Maven. Okay. And see so here using this public IP address, I have connect with the mobile extreme software and access the pseudo privilege. Okay. After that, this is my GitLab account and in that GitLab account, I have repository, its name, code coverage report using GitLab CI for Jococo Java Mion project. Okay. So in that, see here, this SRC, pom.xml, these, these are the my repositories. Okay. And coming to the register runner. So for that, you have to go inside the settings and CICD and expand this runner and if you see here i have already registered the runner okay i have already registered the runner so if you don't know how to register it you can see my previous video or i will drop link in the description box okay so let's start with steps first step is how to install open jdk and May 1 on Ubuntu 22.0 for LTA. So let's update the all the system packages. So let me copy this command and paste in terminal. So here update the all the system packages here. Okay. Now after that you have to install the Java JDK. So let me copy this and paste it. So sudo apt install open JDK. So see a hyphen Java space hyphen version. Using this, we can see the version of that Java. So we are here version is 17.0.8. Okay. After that, we have to install the Maven using sudo apt install Maven. Let me copy this and paste it. Now using the Maven hyphen V, you can check the version of that Maven. So see here, this 3.0, 3.6.3. It's a version and see here, it's a Java version. Okay. After that, if you are to remove this version, then you can use sudo apt remove maven. 
okay then after we have to adding the jcoco maven plugin in form.xml file okay so firstly i will copy this plugin copy it and open go to repository firstly here this is repository and in that you have to click on the form.xml file and simply you have to edit edit the single file and this one is my form.xml okay so after the dependency we are at the login so see here paste here this plugin and in that plugin see here we mention the artifact id as a jcoco maven plugin and its version 0.8.3 after that we have to add the prepare agent id and prepare package okay it helps us print the report okay after that add the post unit test like that and this report our report generated in target folder in the report and our jococo exe file is generated in the target folder okay so let's commit the changes Okay, so go again our repository. And see here SRC. Okay, click on this SRC and here main and test folder are present here. So see, third step is adding this program in SRC main. So this program we have to add the src main it's a palindrome pro program so let's add click on this app java and simply you can edit this is our by default program hello world it's printing hello world okay so here we have to add the palindrome program rest here and simply you have to click on commit the changes okay again you have to go repository Click on SRC and now we have to add the test app test. In that, we have to add this alien, alien, string palindrome program in test. Okay, so let me copy and here firstly you have to edit. and paste here so this is this is a app test program okay using this palindrome so let's commit the changes so see here firstly we are see in that code firstly we are add the src main program it's a String palindrome program in that this program developed by the developer and if we have to test tester this program this program is generated by 
tester okay so which part are cover or not seen in this test okay so means what in that main program src main program that's all the program cover in test or not we are seeing the jococo report okay so let's see how to its work so first next step is we have to create a yaml file in your repository and this code we have to paste in the yaml file okay so let me copy and go to our repository for that you have to click on this code and repository and simply click on this and click on new file and give the file name as gitlab-ci.yaml and paste it code. So here I mentioned the stages like a build and test and build its uh, job name and in that build i declare a stage as a build and script it's a maven clean package and after that this test in that test this is another job name and mention this test as a test and script is maven test and this rep uh, report is generated in this target folder we are using artifacts and in that artifacts we give the path for the generating reports in the target reports folder okay so let's commit the changes after that you have to see the pipeline so for that you have to go in the left side bar and click on this build and pipeline So our job is running, our pipeline is running. So click on this and let's see what is failed in that. Build failure. See here our error error on that Java app program. Okay. Java app program in 10 and 2 and 10 and 6. So let's see here in the main. Okay. So let's check our repository. go inside that src and main java app and 10 it's a it's e it's in capital letter we are convert in small letter okay so let's edit it right a small letter and let's commit the changes and now we can check the pipeline. Let's see our pipeline now. So now our pipeline is running. And our first job is succeed here our build succeed okay and here 
in the target snapshot dot jar folder is created and after that we will see test job it's running and again this is this all this job is also succeeded okay so see here in that target folder jococo.exe file is generated okay and if you coming to the artifacts job artifact if you are browse this you are jococo report for that you have to click on this browse click on target click on reports and see here this is index.html file so click on this and this page is hosted on gitlab page but contains user generated content and may content oh, okay so this is our link click on this and you can see the jococo report okay java code core report so see here our report is 100% succeeded okay 100% run our project okay it's a string palindrome program so in this way we will learn how to integrate code coverage report using gitlab ci for the java maven project so thank you for the watching video